This is Bob Floss with Blue Poppy, and I'm continuing on with my little series of uh, short three, four minute biographies of famous Chinese doctors. And today I'd like to talk about Zheng Jiebin, also known as Zheng Jingyue. Zheng Jiebin was a very famous doctor of the late Ming Dynasty, uh, came from Zhejiang province in uh, eastern China area that's very important in terms of the uh, development of Chinese medicine uh, over the last thousand years. Uh, Zhang Jiebin is remembered for having compiled the Lei Jing, which is a systematized uh, version of the Nei Jing by categories of information. Um, but he's also remembered as the author of the Jingyue Chenchu, or uh, Jingyue's uh, Collected Writings. This is a book that is very frequently quoted. It has a, a, a lot of materials in it uh, about the treatment of specific diseases, their disease mechanisms, and especially their uh, herbal treatment. And uh, in terms of Zheng Jingyue's uh, contribution to the theory of Chinese medicine, uh, he took Judan Shi's saying that yin is commonly uh, insufficient, deficient, vacuous, and uh, said, well, wait a minute, yang is commonly insufficient. According to uh, uh, Zhang, Zhang Jingyue's way of seeing things, the yang qi of the body is the living qi of the body. We talked about this when we talked about the host qi uh, with Liu Wansu. And so to have yang qi means to be alive, and you can't say that you have too much life. So uh, Zheng Yuan Su said, we should also uh, warmly supplement, not just supplement yin, but also we need to make sure that we take care of yang as well. That uh, he was concerned about uh, people not paying sufficient attention to the yang qi. And so he created the school of uh, wen bu, warm supplementation. And uh, it is uh, also uh, 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 Zheng, Yingye, Zheng, Zheng, Zheng Jiebin, Zheng Jingyue, who um, in part is responsible for the fame of uh, Radix Romania, Di Huang. Zhang was so uh, insistent upon the importance of supplementing the lower root, the, the kidneys, uh, both yin and yang, that he used Shu Di in many, many, many of his formulas, so much so that he came to be known as Zhang Shu Di or Zhang cooked Radix Romania. So uh, Zhang Jingyue is a very important uh, uh, figure in late Ming Dynasty Chinese medicine. He really does uh, broaden out the, the work of the four great masters of the Jinyan Dynasty and many of his uh, pattern discriminations and many of his formulas, many of his treatments for various conditions are still the cornerstone of our practice today.